What I'm about to show you has taken me 10 years to figure out. These are the three easy steps to increase your occupancy rate up to about 90% with an average of $295 a night. This is what I have done. I have helped clients. I have included uh, case studies in the links below as well as my free online course. Uh, if you're new here right now and you came across this video, please go back. This is a video in a series of how to be successful in the Riviera Maya in Mexico when it comes to investing in an Airbnb property. So I'm going to walk you through uh, basically my success story and how I have studied this and broken this apart for the past 10 years. And this is exactly what I figured out on how to win on the Airbnb platform. And it kind of is actually very simple. Uh, be a human, be yourself, and provide nothing but a five-star experience. And so I'm going to walk you through this. This is very important. Um, this is very important if you're looking to invest here in Mexico, or really it works anywhere else outside of Mexico on the Airbnb platform. Uh, this is specifically talking about investing here in Mexico. I will also include this link uh, for this webpage so you can go through and read this because this is literally 10 years of uh, research, testing, A and B testing, figuring out what works, what doesn't work, all combined into three simple steps. So the first thing that you must do on Airbnb is get people to like, share, and save your um, your listing. And so this is something that is very simply uh, done. What you have to do is literally place in the first part of your listing and ask them to save your listing, right? What I mean by that is there's a little red heart in each one of the listing IDs or the listing the listings. And this allows you to rank higher on Airbnb. And so here's some units that I manage. They pop up on the first page of, of Airbnb time and time again. Um, you know, here you can see that we had a total page view from January 1st to March 26th, 2,100 page views and 6,400 impressions on the first page. That is... A really big feat. Uh, this is day one from when I added what I'm about to show you, and this just kept kept growing. Um, and so, what I will show you is right here inside your listing. One simple sentence will change your entire Airbnb uh, game. It says, "Click the heart in the upper right corner of this listing to add it to your wish list and share with your friends and family later." That's it. That is rule number one. That gets people to remember, oh, if I like this, I need to save it. Now, there is a lot of things that go into it, right? Uh, the photos, the decorations, as I've discussed in the previous videos. Um, but, you know, here's a perfect example. We're capturing people that might not even stay at your unit, but every single view is helping build your profile and your uh, listing on Airbnb, right? So Christina said, hi, Nick, thanks for reaching out. I looked at another spot. I booked another spot, but I have your spot saved. Like that is a huge win. Even though she didn't spend the $407 uh, at one of these, the listings that we were um, managing, she saved it, which means that it's giving Airbnb data to know that, okay, these people are, th this listing is a great listing. Now, Airbnb, uh, this leads me into my next point. Airbnb you, requires, you know, you to get five five-star reviews. If you watch my previous videos, you've seen I'm outperforming 4.6, 4.7 reviews, uh, starred reviews, and I'm just auto-populating in the first page of, of Airbnb consistently. So, there's a, a saying or, you know, whatever is the 80, 20 rule, 80% 80 of Airbnb's business comes from 20% of the best, uh, the, the best listings. So if you, it, you know, if, if there's a thousand listings, 
Airbnb is only going to give that is only going to list 200 of the best ones. Like it's just inevitable because why they're getting great reviews. They're less of a, they're less of a problem for Airbnb. They don't have to worry about, you know, paying out, um, Airbnb, uh, insurance claims. Uh, they don't have like the people that are getting five, five star or just in general, five star reviews time and time again, they're outperforming and Airbnb is rewarding you by doing that. And so you must get five star reviews, nothing less. And how do you do that? You have to have good pictures. This includes good decorations, hire a professional, pay $300 and don't be cheap, right? So what, what you, what, what's the first impression is the photos on Airbnb, right? And so if they come, they click on your listing and they see that sentence, can you please save it? They're going to save it. Airbnb, the algorithm is going to notice, oh, okay, a lot of people are saving this. They must have good pictures. They must, and, and then it starts bleeding into, okay, we're going to let these people rent it. Now, if you start getting three-star reviews, they're going to say, eh, well, the unit looks great, but they don't know how to be an Airbnb host or their team is not working because they're getting three-star reviews. We want to provide our clients, meaning the, the guests coming, an amazing experience, right? And so the first impression are those photos. Um, if done properly, those photos lead to people favoriting your listing by clicking the heart in the upper right corner, like I just explained. And you also have, you know, there's other things like if you want, ask questions in the comments below and I can make you different uh, videos. But I automate a lot of my stuff. If you don't respond within five minutes, you're not going to get the love that you deserve from Airbnb to populate in the uh, top search results. So automating with, you know, something like Hospitable is a program that I use. Uh, and you need to set the right expectations from the beginning. If there's construction nearby, tell them like, hey, listen, this is a little bit loud. I've adjusted the price. It's a great spot. They just started building a building next door and you are going to hear some, some, you know, noise. Um, that my experience is don't ever let guests come, you know, with a surprise, unless like you have a bottle of wine on the table, like that's great. But if there's noise, um, if, you know, if there's mosquitoes, like anything, just let people know so that they have the expectations of that. And this will also help you when, if Airbnb, if someone does leave a negative review, you can go back and say, no, in the listing, I put that there is mosquitoes. There is noise and they left this review and usually Airbnb will, will take off the, uh, the review. So Airbnb, um, you definitely 100% need to get five, five star reviews. Now this leads me to my third step is you must get professional photos, but you also must get Airbnb to take the photos. There will be a banner inside your listing that says showcase your home with a professional uh, photographer provided to you from Airbnb. Click now, get a quote, and it might cost 86 bucks, $110, depending on the size of the unit, how many rooms, whatever. So this is very important to understand is I mentioned you must get five five-star reviews on any listing that is new, okay? So Airbnb looks at your account as each listing individually. They don't look at it like, oh, you know, this is the home and you can make multiple Airbnb listings as long as one, the other one is turned off or deactivated. Okay. So my point behind this is if you have, I'm going to start with an example on January 1st. Uh, if you just bought your place, you are just now renting it uh, and January 1st comes and you have five people stay in the month of January. Um, and let's say the third guest left a three-star review and you have now, you were at five perfectly good star reviews, but that third person brought your average down to like 4.2. You have to restart your, your account, um, your listing. You just literally go in there, duplicate the listing, make a new one. It will help you in the long run. Um, 
you must get five five-star reviews on any new listing, okay? Now, you will take those photos with a professional photographer prior, okay? Those photos, unless you do some major change in the home, those photos should last you quite some time, right? So you pay $300 and get them, get a professional photographer to take these photos. Now, Airbnb is going to keep saying, hey, showcase your showcase your, your property with, you know, with uh, a photographer. Do not click that X button. That right there is one of the biggest secrets that Airbnb will never tell you is that is the verified way to get your listing to populate even higher in the Google search, in the Airbnb search results. What I mean by that is when Airbnb sends out a photographer, they are not there to take beautiful, amazing, awesome pictures. What they are really doing is they are sending an employee to go and check your unit to make sure that what you see is what you get in the listing. And so they don't spend a lot of time uh, making these amazing photos. The person that you hired is going to do that. That's their job. But the Airbnb photographer is solely there just to verify. Again, to reduce the risk on Airbnb's side, they check mark a box somewhere in your account on the listing ID that says this is WYSIWYG. What you see is what you get, and we have verified it by sending somebody out there. Now, why do I say do not do this until you get five five-star reviews? Well, there's no reason to pay for Airbnb to go on the first on the first uh, reservation of the new listing, right? Because if that person leaves a negative review, well, those photos, that verification gets tied to that property identification inside their internal system. And so if you, you know, if you start a new listing, you have your professional photographer come, you pay 300 and then all of a sudden you hired Airbnb to go and they, someone leaves a negative, uh, less than a five-star review within those first five, uh, then you're not, you're wasting money, right? So you want to do it after you get five five-star reviews. Uh, that's what I have found that has worked the best. After you get five five-star reviews consecutively in the first five reservations, I think Airbnb, just based on data and based on my experience, is that Airbnb knows that you can't please everyone, but they are giving you a fair shot. Like, hey, you're new on the platform with this listing. Maybe your profile's not. Maybe you have four other Airbnbs in another spot, but we're going to let you, you know, figure out how to run your new property on your new listing. Those five five-star reviews are crucial in the first five. After you get that, go ahead, call Airbnb or, or check mark the box and say, hey, I'd like to have somebody come. Uh, it's kind of like a trial and error run, right? If it's a new property, then it might take you two, two listings to get it down right to get that five. Um, those five five-star reviews. So what that allows you to do, th those literally are the three, th those are the three secrets to being successful on Airbnb. It's not rocket science. One is you must get five five-star reviews, right? On your first five stays on a new listing. And if you don't, reset it. The second one is you must have people save your listing, right? Just ask them, in your description, hey, if you like this, to make your life easier, because I know you're searching for you and your friends and family to come, just click the 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 heart in the upper right corner so you can share it with your friends later. Because they might be looking at work, you know, their friends are at work. Just get them to save it. And then the third one would be um, to hire Airbnb's photographer after you get those five five star reviews. That's it. Um, that is the most important. That that is the most important thing that you must do. Those are the three top things that you must do uh, in order to be successful on Airbnb. And in order to be successful here in Tulum, we need to understand the market uh, and the key to success while operating your Airbnb like that. So I'm going to go over the market strategy of investing here in the Riviera Maya, specifically Tulum. Click the links below to get in my course. 
Um, you will not find this information anywhere else out there online. Uh, I've been doing this for quite some time and this is the only information out there that's going to help you be successful. So let's jump over to the next video. Understanding the market is the key to your success. And in the next video, I'm going to show you basically the entire market of the Riviera Maya and how that translates to buying a property that will get rented. So let's jump over to the next video.